So we're going to have done bridge to meet Terry. I'd just like to say thank you so much for subscriptions and likes on the videos. It's really helping to um, get my work out there and that's what I need to do uh, to be able to sell paintings, sell prints and to make enough to carry on doing the videos. So thank you so much and hopefully you'll be carrying on supporting me. That would be really good. Thank you. So here we are at Hebden Bridge. Come over to Hebden Bridge today to see my sister and her girlfriend, Jo. And I uh, thought I'd get in a bit of painting. So it's a lovely little spot. And although that's a lovely view going up that way and you've got the geese and everything, that's not actually what I'm going to be painting today. What I'm going to be painting is in the other direction. This is the direction I'm going to be looking at today. And I'm going to be looking at the trolls that live under the bridge. Because there's always trolls under bridges. So the basic shapes is going to be that curve going through there. Definitely want this bit coming around here. This is my troll who lives under the bridge. He's going to be sitting in this gap here where the, uh, the wall goes up the side. There's actually steps going around that corner, but I think that's going to be the perfect place for my troll to be sitting. So now I'm going to look at the tone. The water is very dark. through the bridge is very dark. There is a light bit there. And then these pipes have got some good, I quite like the structure of the pipes. They've got some good shadows and stuff going under them. And I'm definitely putting in the little sign there that says 19. Behind the troll, it's quite dark. And then this bit where the troll is sitting his feet coming across there because he's got his legs out and I think he's going to have his hands just his elbows resting on his hands there elbows resting on his knees sorry so the story the billy goat's gruff with the who's that trip trapping over my bridge that's a story that always got my attention when I was a child. I loved it. The fact that they tricked the silly troll by saying there was something better on the way. 
oh no, you don't want me, you wait for the bigger one. Always wait for the bigger one, always wait for the bigger one. And of course, when the bigger one came, the troll couldn't handle, the biggest one came, the troll couldn't handle it. And I always liked that story. Maybe that's what it is, it's made, make sure the small things are sorted. And then the larger things will take care of themselves. Because that's what happened with the billy goat's gruff. I think he's going to have his leg long enough. So it comes over that edge of that. Otherwise. That, that what line's going to look weird just coming down to nothing. And it also means it'll go across. There, like that. Right, I think that's all the planning out done. I'm going to start putting some more colours in now. It's a lovely little spot, this. Bridge 19 on the canal at Hebden Bridge. Just down from the pub. Now, what's the name of the pub? I'll have to try. I've only just had a drink there, so I should remember it, but never mind. The name of the pub is that. Bit of editing, I'll sort that one out. Usual colours, I think in, if anyone who's been watching my videos will know which colours I use now. Right. Let's make a start on this. I'll do what I usually do. Start with the stuff at the back, work to the front. I suppose you could start anywhere, really. That's just... Oh, look, I've got a little... Can you see that? I've got a little shelf for my water as well. <laughs> start from the back. It's just what I like to do. And, you know, I won't mind if it stays a bit cloudy because the cloud gives me a chance to see what's going on a bit better. See when the, because a lot of what I'm painting is in shade, when the sun comes out, it's really difficult to see, which seems very counterintuitive, but the, sh the, sh the shadows become darker when I'm trying to pick out colours in those shadows, it just makes it more difficult. Right, as far as the canal goes, <clears throat> it is like a, a deep brown-green colour. With slight lighter reflections, so... That's what I'm going to put in. There are some definite reflections in there, but I'm not going to worry about the reflections too much. I can add those after. I want to get the, the definite background. There we go. There is a... It's like an orangey red, browny green, <laughs> if there is such a colour, just over there. That's better. I think I might have to do those in white first. Just to definitely get that light. 
And I'm just trying to capture the texture of the plants as I'm laying down the colour. It's going to be one of the, it's very, it's breezy and warm. It's going to be one of those days when my paints dry really fast. Start on the underbridge part of it. So, for those people who haven't watched a lot of my paintings so far, I'll go through the colours that I use. Raw Umber, Ultramarine, Titanium White, Cadmium Yellow, Crimson, and I've got some of the Cobalt Blue in there as well. That sort of watery staining that's going round that edge of the bridge over there, I'm definitely going to try and capture that. Bringing those same colours down into the water, where they appear there. Do you know browny green is the de really difficult colour to get any um, life into. Start giving the troll a bit of life. There he is with his hands and his feet. He's definitely going to have a little teeth and stuff. The plants that are over the front of the bridge here, I'm not worried about those too much yet. This is my version of the tale of the three billy goats gruff. Three billy goats lived in a field. The grass on the other side of the bridge was lush and green, much better. A scary troll lived under the bridge, so they came up with a plan. The youngest, smallest goat went across the bridge. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? shouted the troll. It's only me. Don't eat me. My friend is coming. They are bigger and will make a much better meal. So the troll let the small goat go. The middle-sized goat went across the bridge. 
Who's that tr tramping over my bridge? yelled the troll. Oh, it's only me. Don't eat me. My friend is coming, and they're bigger and will make a much better meal. So the troll let the middle goat go. The largest, toughest goat went across the bridge. Who's that tr tramping over my bridge? boomed the troll. It's me, the biggest billy goat. Well, I'm going to eat you up, said the troll. No, you're not, replied the goat, and he butted the troll into the canal. The goats never saw the troll again, and happily went from one field to another across the bridge in the lush grass for a long, long time. Thank you. I'm just drawing the troll under the bridge. <laughs> what do you want to call him? Terry. Right, he's called Terry. <laughs> You've just named him. Thank you. Are you painting them watercolours? Acrylics. Acrylics, yeah. Yeah. Straight acrylics. Yeah. Are they not drying too quick for you in the They're sun? They're drying ridiculously quickly. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I like working quickly, so it's yeah, not yeah. too bad. Yeah, no, yeah. That's it, isn't it? It's not too bad. Do you paint yourself? I do, yeah. I like ah. the, I use acrylics. Like. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice, yeah. I Thank like you. Got the light off the, off the top of the, the, like the a, underbridge, you know. Like yeah. That's going to be the troll that lives under the bridge. Right. Wow. So um, that, I, what I do is I go around to places. Yeah. And um, either wet children's fairy tales right. or myths and legends of the actual area, yeah. and I paint pictures of that. So That's rather cool. than picturing what's out yeah. there. I paint what's not there. What's not there, yeah. 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 They had them in Shrewsbury, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bridge in Shrewsbury and it's kind of like it's supposed to have fairies. Yeah. That's the sort of thing I go for. And the, the painters, yeah. the painter there was putting fairies in different places and you had to spot them, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's the sort yeah. of thing I do. Similar things, yeah. Yeah. But well, it's very nice, yes. Yeah, Thank good. you very much. Thank yeah. you. along the canal. Oh, wow. <laughs> I walked past, we walked past when it was just brown. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I did, I walked past <laughs> and I remember I stopped and I looked and it was just like brown. Yeah, yeah, just planned and it I in. I actually thought to myself, I hope on my way back you're still here. Yeah, let's see I what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a, the troll that lives under the bridge. Is it? It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. It's amazing compared to like, so, honestly, like, honestly, when I walked past I was like, because I knew it was going to be something special. Oh, where's it going? That yeah, sort of thing. It's yeah. Really great. I Thank, you. Thank you. Thank yeah. <laughs> you. Bye. Bye. He did, and then he just disappeared around the wall. <laughs> he said he had to go and sell something at the market. <laughs> well, there's not much more I can get without actually putting more paint out. So I think I'll just... Hi. Have a look at the video from where I started and if I do need to add anything I can do oh one last thing I need to do before my brown and blue dry up completely so raw umber ultramarine to get my darkest colour Canada geese <laughs> Which bridge?
lives under. Good. Nearly oh, yeah. there now. Oh, that's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Lovely, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> How long have you been on now? Um, just this afternoon. I started about one o'clock. Yeah, magic. Yeah, yeah magic. Yeah. So I think that's it for the day now. That's absolutely gorgeous. Thank yeah. you. Beautiful. Thank you. Quite happy with him now. I um, haven't got much paint left. As you know. See, even the geese are starting to say, go home, go home. If I carry on now, I'm going to spoil it, so. I think just a little bit in there. This is how far I got at bridge 19. So after an absolutely wonderful day at Hebden Bridge, I'm back in the studio. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tidy up some of the bits on the painting that I couldn't quite see in the really bright sunlight over at Hebden Bridge. Um, so I'm not changing it at all. I'm just going to get it exactly as I want it. There's no point in changing it now, I'm quite pleased with it. But as I've said before, when I'm doing a painting, I keep going until I'm actually happy with the story it's telling and that it's actually saying what I want it to. And once it does that, I stop and I don't feel as though this one is quite reading as I want it to yet. So, until it does, I'll just keep on uh, plodding away. Here, where his jumper, that's going to be very red under there. So it'll bounce some red back onto his face. Pretty much reads as it should. There we go. The 19th Bridge Troll from Hebden Bridge. <laughs>